Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, today I'm going to be telling you all six computer science study tips. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Adebisi. I do tech and lifestyle content. If you guys enjoy my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like if you enjoy it. But let's just go ahead and get started. So the first tip I have is to watch videos on concepts you don't understand. So this is something I did frequently whenever I had a subject in computer science that I just really didn't get very well, or if I had a professor that just was a terrible teacher. So obviously you are on YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, you know that YouTube has so many different subjects and so many different topics on it and one of them being computer science. There are so many great teachers on YouTube that can teach you different kinds of computer science topics that you are struggling with. In my opinion, computer science is one of those subjects that just really is not learned best when you're reading a textbook. It's learned better when you're watching a video or when you're able to have someone demonstrate something to you in person. So that actually leads to my next tip, but if you are struggling with a concept so badly and you've already watched a YouTube video on it and you just aren't getting it, something isn't connecting, my next tip is to go to office hours. So this is something I wish I did more in my computer science career in or my college career i mean tas are literally there to help you learn these concepts and there are so many good tas and then there are a handful of bad tas what ended up happening to me was that in the beginning um like freshman year i would go to office hours when i didn't understand things and then i had a handful of negative experiences with tas that were just super rude or just made me feel really stupid so i just kind of stopped going but don't let any rude tas kind of deter you from going to office hours what you should try and do is just go to office hours you know test out a couple tas find the one that you really are able to understand concepts from and keep going back to that ta if you misunderstand things and of course if you don't get along with any of the tas which could be possible you can always go to your professor's office hours that they, they are literally there to help you learn these subjects so the next tip i have is actually buying a whiteboard so i have two whiteboards the first one is this miniature one so this one i used to do a lot of my homework on and then i have this big gigantic one that i used to prep for like coding interviews and whatnot basically i would use a whiteboard just to pre-plan out whatever problem I was trying to solve. So in my opinion, writing down what you're trying to do is much better than trying to solve a problem while typing it out. So of course you can use paper to do this, but if you want to be more environmentally conscious, you know, you could use a whiteboard or you could, if you have an iPad Pro, maybe use that or something like that. But essentially you just want to be able to write down whatever problem you're trying to solve before you start coding it. So what I would do is I would usually, you know, write down the problem and then from that problem, I would write down what I'm trying to solve from that problem. And then I would kind of go into some sort of like a thought process flow to solve that problem. And then finally I would start writing pseudocode. And then once I write pseudocode, I would actually start coding. What using a whiteboard or what writing down these, whatever you're trying to solve does is it helps you break down the problem into smaller parts and it helps you figure out exactly what you are trying to solve in each part of the problem. And then my fourth tip is actually a tip I got from one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. It is do not procrastinate. So if you guys watch Sosa, she said this in her video, this was her last tip in the video, but basically procrastination does not help you in any way, especially in computer science. So what I mean by this is that in certain subjects, like if you have an essay or if you have a math or like physics homework, you can kind of put a cap on how long you think it's gonna take you to solve it. But with most CS homework, no. I had so many moments in my life where I would kind of like think, okay, maybe I could solve, maybe I can figure out this homework in this many hours or this many days or this many da 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 and would not happen. So I would miss out on hanging out with friends and, you know, doing exciting things with my friends and just being able to live my life because I was stuck doing my CS homework because I started late. So for my fifth tip, it is to take breaks. So obviously, CS is very frustrating and pretty stressful and looking at a problem for hours on end and not getting anywhere is really not going to help you. The more you set a problem, probably the more you're going to get confused. So you want to make sure that you are implementing breaks into your homework or study hours or whatever you are doing. I would have moments where I would be working on homework and I would just straight up be getting nowhere and I would be working on it for like hours on end. And then, you know, I go to bed, wake up the next day and I'm like, oh my God, like I know what I need to do. So you need to learn to take breaks because if you try and do CS homework from like start to finish and you're getting like frustrated along the way, 
you're not going to be a happy person. You're going to be stressed out all the time. So you really want to make sure that you're taking breaks for yourself and giving yourself time to be able to sort of refresh your mind and come back with the fresh eyes and being able to look at a problem with um, a new mindset and try and figure out where you need to go from there. And then finally, for my last tip, it is to practice. So this is something that I really mentioned in my five things I wish I knew before becoming a computer science major, but practice is, you know, it's a pretty general tip, which is why I threw it in at the end. So you really just want to be able to practice any sort of concept that you've learned because that's how you're going to get better at it and then i have a bonus tip for you guys so this tip is a pretty silly tip which is why i'm throwing it at the very very end but it is to go to class so this is something i i started doing i would say like really going to class my junior year and that is when i feel like i did the best in my classes so for me i wouldn't go to class if a it was way too early or b the professor, I just hated the professor, um, as in like I couldn't learn from them. But when I started going to class more frequently and actually was like paying attention in class, I did better in school. So if you are just going to college or maybe you're a computer science major and you had a freshman year that, you know, your GPA wasn't what you wanted it to be, start going to class, try and challenge yourself to go to class every single day. It's only going to help you. It really can't hurt you, but make sure you are paying attention in class. Make sure you are taking notes if that's the best way you learn and just make sure that you are zeroed in on the professor and not just lollygagging in class. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video on my six, I guess seven study tips you can study computer science effectively. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a comment down below. If you guys have any questions, also leave me questions down below. I pretty much answer all of my comments, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.